How's it going everybody? It's ATL Will and today we're gonna be making the season predictions or I am. Y'all are just gonna watch. So um, there's a lot of good teams in the NFL this year. So if your team didn't get in the playoffs or win the Super Bowl, I'm sorry. And you have to take everything I say in this video 100% serious because that's exactly what's going to happen this season. Obviously I'm just playing but I got my iPad and I went through on playoffpredictors.com and predicted every single game all week one through the Super Bowl and this is what I came up with so let's get it started um, let's start out with the AFC North and the AFC North um, what I ended up with was and the Ravens won the division with a record of 10 and 6 10 and 6 um, the division record was 5 and 1 the Steelers went 10 and 6 with 4 and 2 in the division. The Browns went 10 and 6, missed the playoffs, went 2 and 4 in the division, and the Bengals went 4 and 12 with 1 and 5 in the division. Uh, there was almost three playoff uh, teams, and it was very close. It came down to week 17 for the Browns, just for another team to kick them out, and. You know, I think the Browns got a good squad. It's just, I don't think they're Super Bowl ready. <coughs> but I don't think they're Super Bowl ready. So, I don't even think they're playoff ready. Obviously, they didn't make the playoffs in this. Uh, so, I mean, they went 10-6, but they just missed the playoffs. And the Ravens, uh, good squad. Uh, I kept picking them. I don't, it just ended up happening that way because their schedule just seemed much more easier than the Steelers, and they just overall have a better team, you know? They're gonna be great in a few more years, and yeah, you get to see how that division does in the playoffs later on in the video. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, this next part is about the AFC South, and this is before Andrew Luck retired, so this was my original prediction, was them going 11-5, and five, which you're about to see. But now I got them completely missing out on the playoffs and the Texans winning that division. So, and special guest. So, hey. Bruh, watch your profanity. People watching this. Okay, next is the AFC South. And the Colts went 11 and 5, won the division, went 4 and 2 in the division. Um, yeah, so the Colts, they just kept winning. Okay, guy, settle down. Just like the Ravens. Uh, Andrew Luck, I don't know about how his injury is. I drafted him as my quarterback in fantasy. <laughs> I have no idea why I did that. Because now who knows if he even plays week one. But despite that, just because of the room injuries, I made the Colts lose like the first two games, just in case. They had a cupcake schedule. So they went 11 and 5. They went 4 and 2 division. And the Texans got second in the division at 10 and 6, 3 and 3 in the division. They made the playoffs. I'm pretty sure that was the team that kicked the Browns out of the playoffs. Deshaun Watson and DeAndre Hopkins, great players. The Texans went 10 and 6 in the division. So that was enough to earn them that playoff spot. And then the third team in the division is the Jacksonville Jaguars. They went eight and eight, uh, two and four in the division. You know, they're an eight and eight squad right now. Uh, they aren't that team that went to the AFC Championship just a few years ago. I mean, Nick Foles is on that team, other than Blake Bortles, but they just had a bad year last year and they're gonna have an average year this year. There's no way they make that jump back from their record last year to the championship caliber team that they used to be. So they go 8-8, eight and eight, and the fourth team in the division is the Tennessee Titans, who went 4-12. and 12. And three of those wins were from the division, and the other win was against the Buccaneers. I remember picking it. And let's move on to the AFC East. I think the obvious division winner in this division is um, the Buffalo Bills. No, I'm playing. It's the New England Patriots. They went 12-4, 5-1 in the division. 
So, and that wasn't enough to get them a first seed. They were the two seed. They actually got the two seed. And the second place uh, in the division went to the New York Jets. Barely missed out on the playoffs. They went nine and seven, three and three in the division. They're gonna have a good future. Sam Darnold's a great quarterback. Just watched my Atlanta Falcons play them last week on the preseason game. They had a great squad. The third team is the Miami Dolphins, who go four and 12, two and four in the division. Not much you can really say about them. And fourth team, they went. The Buffalo Bills went three and 13, two and four in the division. And not much you can say about them either. They're just one of those teams they're rebuilding and they're just at that stage right now where they're trying to figure a bunch of crap out so let's move on to the AFC West the AFC West the Kansas City Chiefs won the division went 13 and 3 5 and 0 in the division that's the first seed they're beat out the Patriots for that top spot so Patrick Mahomes, I mean, people have been talking about he's going to have a letdown season. There's no way. I mean, he's running the same system, the same people pretty much other than Kareem Hunt are around him. So I see them having a great year. 6-0 in the division, my fault. And uh, the San Diego Chargers are second in the division, going 8-8, eight and eight, missing out on the playoffs, going 2-4 and four in the division. The third team in the division is the Oakland Raiders, who went seven and nine and three and three in the division. Not enough to get into the playoffs, but bright future down the line is certainly for them, considering the recent seasons they've had. And the fourth team is the Denver Broncos, who went five and eleven and one and five in the division. And I think that only win was against the Raiders that they had in the division. So. And now, let's move on to the NFC. And let's start out with the NFC North. The NFC North's division winner was the Chicago Bears. And they won 11 and five, five and one in the division, which is the third seed. They ended up getting the third seed. They, yeah, there's a lot of other good teams. The second, uh, second place in the division was the Green Bay Packers. We missed out on the playoffs barely at 10 and six and three and three in the division. And I just see the Packers, I mean, they're not good anymore, really. You know, they're getting a new coach this year, a new system that they're having to learn. And it's gonna be, Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback, but there's one thing about Aaron Rodgers that isn't good. And that's just sometimes his mentality can be off. And he's a great quarterback, but sometimes he's hard to get along with. So I've heard. Third place in the division is the Minnesota Vikings, who went eight and eight and three and three in the division. And people were calling for Kirk Cousins' head because he didn't have a great year. And I could definitely see that happening. The Vikings had a great uh, team around them, great defense, and got some good offensive weapons. So I think that's what we'll see happen this year. And Kirk Cousins is going to be sometime. And the fourth team in the division was the Detroit Lions, who went 6-10, and 1-5 and five in the division. And, you know, <laughs> poor Lions fans. Lions fans haven't had much of a team, and they haven't had really anything to cheer for, and I don't, I don't see anything changing for them. And that makes me, makes me feel for them. The next division we got is the NFC South. And the division winner is going to be the Atlanta Falcons. I mean, shit, did y'all expect anything else? I'm sorry. 12-4. Uh, and four. Uh, First seed. So, 4-2 and two in the division. The, but it's only two losses to the Saints and Panthers. And the second team is the New Orleans Saints, who went 11-5. and 4-2 and two in the division, just like the Falcons. And make the playoffs with the fifth seed. And the third team is the Carolina Panthers, who went nine and seven, four and two in the division, missing the playoffs barely. And the fourth team 
is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going 4-12 and 0-6, and and not winning a single game in the division. Getting swept by the whole division. The other division is the NFC East. So in the NFC East, I had the Dallas Cowboys winning, going 11-5, sweeping the division, going 6-0, fourth seed. The second place team is the Philadelphia Eagles, who was 7-9, 1 and 5 in the division. And I'm missing on the playoffs. Sorry, Eagles fans. The third team is going to be the New York Giants, who went 6 and 10, 3 and 3 in the division, missed the playoffs. Daniel Jones comes in later in the season, wins a couple of games. That's what I had down in my predictions. I made the Giants lose a couple of games in the beginning and intended that Daniel Jones came in. And I see Daniel Jones having a great year. I believe in that dude. The fourth team is the Washington Redskins, who went 5-11 and, and then 2-4 and four in the division. So, missing the playoffs, obviously. And the other division we got is the NFC West. So, the division winner in that one is going to be the Seattle Seahawks who I predict go 11 and five in the second seed. They finessed their way to the second seed. I remember, I was just like, damn, how the hell did they end up there? And I went back and I went back and I checked the, how they won. I was just, I was like, not surprised. They finessed their way. They had a good schedule, I believe. And they got some great division wins going five and one. And the second place is the St. or not St. Los Angeles Rams, who went 10 and 6 and 4 and 2 in the division, making the playoffs at the sixth seed. I mean, it's not a Super Bowl team anymore. Sorry, I see them getting to the playoffs. A lot of people predict the downfall. I see them getting to the playoffs. The third team is the San Francisco 49ers, who went 5 and 11, 3 and 3 in the division, missing the playoffs. And Kyle Shanahan's going to get fired. And he's gonna come back to Atlanta. Just playing. We, we're good over here. We got Derek Cutter. And the fourth team is the Arizona Cardinals, who went three and thirteen. Not much of an improvement. People were questioning if Kyler Murray's a bust. Shit. I mean, we can. I won six in that division. Didn't win a single game out of all six of those games they played. Now that we know all that, let's go to the playoffs. And wild card weekend is the Baltimore Ravens playing the Houston Texans, the Indianapolis Colts playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys playing the New Orleans Saints, the Chicago Bears playing the St. Louis Rams. So, that said, the first game we're gonna go over is the Baltimore Ravens versus the Houston Texans. And I am picked the Ravens. And initially I thought it was a bad idea because I think the Texans are just like them. And I was thinking the Texans could have a real big upset that week, but I just don't see it happening. So I went with the Ravens. The second game wild card weekend in the AFC is the Colts versus Steelers. I picked the Steelers. And no, I picked the Colts, I'm sorry. I picked the Colts. I see the Colts. Andrew Luck just grinding that one out just like they have the other games moving on in the playoffs. And the next game is the Dallas Cowboys versus Saints. I picked the Cowboys. I see this being one of Drew Brees' down years, and once he gets to the playoffs, he's going to realize I ain't in this no more. And plus, the Cowboys, I think, got a better team than the Saints. They proved that last year in that game. Even, so. I think that'll happen. I think the Cowboys will beat them again. So now the Chicago Bears play the St. Louis Rams. It's going to be wintertime in Chicago. St. Louis don't like that. They proved that last year. They got blown out, basically. They, I said St. Louis again. I'm sorry. The Los Angeles Rams don't like that. So... This year, they're gonna prove that again. Their offense is gonna be terrible. And the Bears are gonna move on. And the divisional round 
is going to have the Patriots versus Colts, Chiefs versus Rams, I mean Ravens, Chiefs versus Ravens, Seahawks versus Bears, Falcons versus Cowboys. So, I got the Patriots beating the Colts, and I mean the Patriots are just going to move on to the conference championship just like they have the past 30 years. And the Chiefs versus Ravens, I got the I got the Chiefs winning, and that'll set up a rematch, re, a championship rematch between the Patriots and Chiefs. In the NFC, uh, I got the Seahawks versus Bears, and in Seattle, because the Seahawks got the second seed, they ended up that way. And now I got the Bears beating them in Seattle. I mean, Seattle didn't have no business being that second seed, and I see the Bears proving that and moving on to the conference championship. And the last game is the Falcons versus Cowboys in Atlanta, and of course I got the Falcons winning and moving on to play the Bears in the NFC Championship. So now in the NFC Championship, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious I got the Falcons beating the, the Bears and moving on to the Super Bowl. And they could have a rematch with the Patriots in the Super Bowl, but I don't see that happening. I see Patrick Mahomes moving on and going to the Super Bowl and beating the Patriots in a great game. So now the Super Bowl between the Chiefs and Falcons, and I got the Falcons, obviously. So, yeah, that's my predictions. Sorry if you hate it. Sorry if you liked it. Just kidding. If you liked it, give me a like. And comment so i'll see y'all next time this is a rough video to make because there's a lot of talking and yeah anyway i'll see y'all next time peace out